Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have um, June's um, Stash Buster kit here. I'm running a couple days behind. Um, so I'll start. Um, it's going to be two parts because it's too long. This kit is huge. Um, basically, um, me and Susan, um, Susan this month made the recipe up. Every other month we take turns. Um, and it did have, um, she did have, gave me a mood board to kind of follow if I wanted to. So I'll show you, um, well, two mood boards. This was one of them that she pulled from the internet. And um, the colors, if you wanted to use. I did pull some of these colors. Um, mine are a little bit brighter. I chose to go brighter. And then this one. I really like this one, like flamingos, um, you know, pool, floaties, beach. She kind of picked it for beach. But actually, this kit is actually... I'm going to lean towards more towards, since we just started summer, I'm going to lean towards more pool layouts and river um, and ice cream and stuff like that. I got a lot of photos that I need to scrapbook. I'll probably do um, beach maybe next month or something, but I'll show you what I pulled. It's going to be two parts, maybe three parts, but I'm going to try to get it all in two. So for, uh, first off on the list, she um, put 25 pattern paper. So the first one was a bold stripe. So I picked this one for a bold stripe. Next one was um, small dot print. So I picked this one. Large, oh, medium polka dot. This one. Actually, I haven't showed you the other side. Like this side could work. Um, this is. These are all by Summer Days from Echo Park. This one could work. And then this yellow polka dot. If I wanted to, I could use these. But I picked them for the front sides. If I really want to use the backs, I can. I could Sometimes I cut them in half and use the backs. So the next one was called for a camera page. Um, this one's only single-sided, so I picked this one. It was from a paper pad because the colors are kind of bright. The next one was um, a diagonal stripe. And this one was also from a paper pad. So there's that one. The next one was Ombre Effect. This one was also from a paper pad. Kind of reminds me of pineapple, but in pink. So that, that's that one. A fruit, paper with fruit on it. This was from a paper pad. And I, I picked this one because it has fruit, ice creams, and other stuff. I thought this was more, it'll work, you know, um, drinks and stuff like that for the pool in summer. And then paper with gold. I went with this one from... Sorry, my fingers are sticking. From a paper pad, sunglasses. It's really bright. Um, the next one was make your own background paper. And I've been really busy. I started a new job. So I barely got this kit together last night. So I, it says make your own paper using any means you would like watercolor paint. I'm going to do that eventually. And I will add. I will show you when I do my layout share what I did. I just didn't have time to do that. Uh, a large floral. Pick this one. This is from Hello Summer, and the back is this side, so I could use the back if I wanted to. The next one is a soft floral, and this one just a single side. This is from Paper Pad. Next one is your choice. So I picked this cute paper from a paper pad that has all kinds of fun summery um, stuff, and it even has June, the word June on here, and July. So, but I'm going to be using it for, and it has August too. So, but I thought it was cute. And then an old paper, five years or older. And this is a really old paper from one of my paper um, pads. And it's kind of like, um, I don't know what you call this. It's um, got treatment on it. It's really smooth. And so I love summer. So I thought that was cute to use a wood grain. This was from a paper pad. It's kind of like an ombre kind of wood grain. Um, border strip paper. This was from that summer days. Really bright, and I thought it was cute. And then the back, it well, the back is that the front sheet. So I can't, I can't use that. So that we use that. The next one was a cut apart, and that one was also from Summer Days. Really cute, and I thought that was cute to do. Like um, it says summer ice cream fun in the sun, girl eating ice cream. So I thought that was cute. Beachy paper, bathing suits for this pool, river, whatever. A bright paper. This one was from Paper Pet. Um, I used another one from Summer Days. Striped, kind of like a 
scallop kind of border and then the back is really pretty pink so either way I could use um, notebook grid style paper this one was from a paper pad and I pulled in all those colors from my collection I thought it was really cute I could cut it up in strips if I wanted it for journaling or use it as a background waves and waters I actually picked a cup two of these because I wanted to go with the kind of a dark color teal in this collection for the this one's more like um the ocean probably and then this blue one they're both from paper pads is more like a pool one so I kind of wanted to pull both of them I could use this like the river and this one from the pool so that's why I pulled that in I mean it's a 25 papers but there's really no rules it's called stash specials we're trying to kill our our stash make room for new stuff use it up you know the next one was a text paper this one's cute it's from a paper pad and it's all about summer and pool fun and it has August on there, July and June. It's real cute. And the next one was stars and I found this cute star paper. It's purple. I wanted to pull in some purple because I'm really into purple right now. And I thought this would be really cute. Um, they do have summer movie nights at the parks here. Maybe we'll do one and this would be cute to do for background. And then it says um, the 23, 24, and 25, we we could pick anything that screams beat summer, family, or picnic. So this was paper 23 with ice cream cones. This is from Summer Days also. The back is this cute kind of orangey color striped. You could use both sides. The next one is um, this paper pad one that has like words about summer. thought it was really cute. And then the next one is um, a wave paper. And this one is also um, by Echo Park. It's from a collection called The Perfect Summer. I thought that'd be cute for the river pages or the pool. And then the back side is this. I don't think I'll be using that side. I think I'll be using this side. I did throw in a couple extra papers because I got these papers last month from Doodlebug and I really wanted to use them up because they're bright and they match this collection so since I'm using the ephemera from Doodlebug I want to throw these two papers in. I got this um, cute called Sweet Summer by Doodlebug. It's got all these cute little suns with faces on them and then the back is this teal wave kind of paper so I could use either side and then I wanted to throw in this cute little paper called, oh well that one was, I guess they're all, the collection's called Sweet Summer. That one is called Catching a Wave, and this one's called Happy Hour. Cute little drinks. And then the back is this striped one. So I wanted to throw those in. Um, and also I threw in a paper that I never finished from my last month's kit, from May's kit. The colors really match with it, and I figured since I didn't want to put it back in my stash, I want to use it up, so I'm going to try to use it with this collection. I do have a, a few scrap papers that I've that are cut into. Um... And I'll share with those with you. This was from my last month's kit. Leftover. And then, let's see. And I got a few cut-up papers. I got this polka-dotted paper that I want to use. And then this also was, I found a scrap that's kind of cut same colors. I found this cute popsicle paper with popsicles on it. Um, this one by Photo Play Summer Days. I thought this was really cute. And um, the background's that. I didn't show you the background of the popsicles. I don't know. It does have a blue background. And then that one is an orange background. So I could use either sides of all these. So I'm just giving more, myself some more options. Um, this one is by Summer Days Photo Play also. Could use that up. Uh, let's see, I found these two 8.5 by 11 papers that my mom gave me some papers um, last month, so I thought these would be cute. They match. There's some more cut, cut up papers. This one's by Summer Days Photo Play, and it's popsicles. And just, I have a little bit of piece left, so I thought that would be cute since we're focusing on ice creams and pools. And this one also is a piece of a random paper cut apart sand and surf by Bella Boulevard and it's, the colors are the same oh that's really cute together those popsicles on that paper see so I can use up my scraps this one it's a border and then I got a couple border strips from that 
uh, doodle bug ice creams and stuff that matches the other ones so I thought that was cute so and also so that's my big papers and then also card stack six by six paper pads are free she said so I did throw in the summer days which matches that collection um, paper pad I'm just gonna flip through it real quick but yeah and it's double sided so it's really cute um, I got some other um, photo play Summer days, I did have some scrap papers. Um, I got a little bit of this left. A lot of it's scrap, so I'm going to try to use up what I can out of that. Um, I'll show you other random paper that I got. This one, days of the week. Like a grid paper. These are single-sided because they're, um, well, those ones, no, they're not. Let's see. So I picked them for this side, but if I wanted to use the other side, I probably could, like that one pink one, this green, the wood, I don't know about the wood, but the green, this bright colored one, really pretty, flip flops, I could use that one, this pretty, um, pretty ombre effect one, the back is kind of cute, it's lighter, but it's cute though, this polka dotted one, the fair, was there a bug, oh, his little gnat flying around, and this cute little pink one, there's the back, it's got a little bit of navy, I don't have navy, I don't think of my kit. Flamingos, if I wanted to use bathing suits, that's really cute. This bright pink one, teal on the back, this teal colored one, green on the back, this um, chevron green, flowers on the back, yellow, multicolor polka dotted probably going to go with 30 minute video so then if once I get to 30 then I'm going to go to part 2 yellow and then this one this looks like candles on the back kind of cute um, this blue and then cherries that's cute that wave paper the big one I got and there's the back so I'll probably use a small this green I don't know about that back uh, that looks like fourth of these ice cream, cream cones are really cute in the back striped this black, I think it's navy or black polka dotted. I wanted to use these up. These are art, like the kids doing art work for the summer. They, these are from this old paper pad that I've had forever. Little cut apart little things. Games and stuff, because we could have game night. Bowling and all that crafty pool and all that cute stuff cut apart. Game day, or night I mean. That, this all came from that one collection. They're not... They're not double-sided so there's a purple I'm pulling in some more purple orange teal and then these little cut apart little word thingies and then I did have some other random size papers um, popsicles and pandas I got these popsicles I don't what are these six by eights I don't remember I think they're six by eights pandem popsicles and pandas it's polka dotted yellow and these are single-sided Popsicles and pandas. That one's popsicles and pandas too. This pink. See, I have a lot of options. I'm going to be able to make ton of layouts. Flamingos. These are Secret of the Sea. This is from Barnyard. And then I do have some random card stock that came from a paper pad. I think it was a mermaid paper pad that I thought would be a match with this collection. Um, also from my last month's kit, I'm going to try to use up these, these sticker sheets that I had. I didn't really use a lot of those. Um, I have two of these. I'm going to try to use up a lot of these. They match except for the red probably. I don't know. Maybe the strawberry one I want. And then, so that's that. I'm going to move these all on the side. If I can get them up. I'm going to move them all to the side and I'll show you I have a couple paper pads that I bought from Michaels this one there were five not Michaels um, Walmart five dollars all these bright colors and these polka dots so I'm going to be using these because cardstock's free in this kit I also pulled a bunch of cardstock from Michaels and the random cardstock different shades of pinks 
darker pinks, bright pinks, blues, greens, cardstock. So I'm going to try to use them. I've been using a lot of white cardstock lately. I'm going to try to use colored cardstock too. Um, I'll show you the 12 by 12 sticker sheets and the chipboard. I pulled this poolside, I think it's called poolside by Crate Paper chipboard that I've only used one piece and I got it on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I never got this collection. I wish I would have, but I didn't. So I'm going to try to use up this, m most of it, if I can. It's really cute. And it goes with my theme of pools, the pool side. And then I'll show you my 12 by 12 sheets. 12 by 12 sheets. I got a lot of sticker 12 by 12 sheets. And a lot of them are for them collections by Echo Park. This one, it's called Sweet Summer Days. That's most of the paper I got from that collection. Got fair bicycles, popsicles, real cute stuff. I thought'd be cute. Um, Summer dreams. I do have papers from there. Really cute. Also, say, same thing. Ice creams, fair flamingos, pool stuff, watermelon, cute stuff. This one is by Bella Boulevard. It's called Sand and Surf, and I think I did have one or two papers from there. Try to use up most of those. This one is by Bella Boulevard also. These are really old. I think these are like 2000. This one's 2013. Um, I don't know about those. This one is 2011 by Bella Boulevard called Sunshine and Happiness. Really like this one. Popsicle Day is really cute. We like to eat popsicles in the summertime. Um, Sand and Surf also. That one's 2013. Um, some of these cut aparts from my paper pad, like the ice cream truck, um, maybe the donuts, I'm not sure, fruit truck, ice cream, I love these ice cream, donuts, strawberry, I love it. These cut aparts, real cute, talk about ice cream and different things, really cute. Um, these, from a paper pad cut apart, also really cute. More stickers. Uh, this one is from Summer Days and it's alphabets and other stuff from Photo Play. Gives me some more options for my um, letters. The, I have a bunch of these, tons of them. I must have like 10 of them. Um, so I want I pulled in a few of those to use. These are from uh, Echo Park collection called Splash and I, I know it's pretty old. It's like 2011 or 12. So I got two of those and I got two of these because I got tons of them so I want to try to use those up they match as much as I can and then uh, let's see alphas we were allowed to pull it says we were allowed to pull five thicker alphabets but I didn't have a lot of thickers that matched so I pulled other stuff so I pulled this one it's called sunshine it's by thickers they're not as bright but I thought they would work and then instead of thickers, I pulled Bella Boulevard Puff Wonky Alphabets. I pulled the teal, the pink, the yellow, and the green. And then for flat alphabets, it said four, but I think I pulled more because I found, I found a bunch of random stuff that I wanted to use up. So I did pull in these that I had in my last month's kits. And I want to use some, some of these and some tags. And then these, there's not much on there. Um, also these I think I had last month's and then I pulled in these too to try to use them up since it's Stash Busters I think um, you know if we want to add more to it we should be able to these I found in my stickers my beach stickers and I've had them forever these are just random um, stickers that I think I use a top and I just want to finish the bottom I pulled in some purple glitter stickers from Michaels these are old. They were my beach collections. Rub-ons, old rub-ons, some white old stickers. And then I have two sets of these. I have one that's with my, um, one came with my collection, um, my Chamel collection. And this one came with my hit kit, so I didn't use it. So I'm going to use what I can that matches, since I have two of them. So those are my alphabet. And then I'm going to show you a little bit more because I still got about 10 more minutes. 
So then it goes to, um, it says metal embellishments. I didn't pull any metal embellishments. Um, raw chipboard, I didn't pull any raw chipboard either. I do have some butterflies and stuff. Um, it's just, this is a big kit and I'm probably not going to pull those. Thicker phrases, um, I don't know if I have any of those, but um, 12 by 12 chip chipboard, I showed you that. I'm going to show you, start showing you, um, I'll show you the, it called for some embossing folders. I pulled three. I pulled this dot one, this wave one, and this polka dotted one. So it also called for stamps, I believe. Um, I only pulled a couple stamps. I didn't use these in last month's kit. I, I'm going to try to use that. I didn't use those ones. I did use this one. And then I pulled these beach kids or pool by Bow Bunny. I'm going to use those. Um, I might pull some other stamps. This, is, this kit is so big. I might pull them as I need them. I don't want to pull too much and then it's a pain to put everything back. Um, flowers. I used these in my last month's kit. I was on, they were on my table, so they match. I'm going to use these. Um, let's see. Washi tape. Um, these were for my last month's kit. They match. I'm going to try to use them up. Also, all these ribbon or string and pom-pom trim. I did use a little bit of this pom-pom trim. And uh, I didn't use any of this string, so I'm going to leave it. It matches. I'm going to... Instead of putting it back, I'm going to try to use it for this month. Um, paints and um, the same as last month. I didn't put it away. I didn't use any of this for last month. So I figured all these colors match this month's kit. I'm going to go ahead and then stickles. I used a couple stickles. So I'm going to try to use them this month and be better, hopefully. <laughs> and then washi tape. I don't know, I might have time to fit this all in one video. Washi tape, I put just some random colors that I thought. These greens, see if I can closer look. Pinks, polka dots, ice cream ones, some random ones that people have given me. Greens, blues, and yellows. So, I'm I might stop the video now and just do the other because it's getting too long. I'm gonna stop the video now and I'm gonna do I'm gonna record part two next. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for part two.